Wow, it's Wolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash Love Request episode. It is Friday, everybody. Welcome back. I'm sorry that I haven't posted. This week I have started university and all that, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you check out the Google form that's linked in the description. It resets every single week when the video drops. First up, we have Chew 5 Gum by GD Zakai 834 using Return to NG by Grand Bowtie. Yo, there's a lot of flashes in 10 seconds, just so you know. Ooh, nice and wavy beginning. Bouncy background. I like the music sync ufo okay 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 don't do that uh let me see if there's like a a, a flash toggle no no flash toggle interesting so what you want to do is not flash the crap out of me because it can it can trigger some things i'm gonna slow-mo it that this is this is too much cool transition you know the screen goes in but that's too much i'm sorry holy i'm getting flash banged in the first Two minutes of recording. Lovely colors here. I like the music sync, how you've kind of snapped the screen. You see, like, we're midway through here. Things are getting toggled line by line. It goes hard. It doesn't need too much air deco. I think what's there just satisfies because it uses the song so well and it places a lot of emphasis on its different movements and... Ooh, okay. This is a slightly slower section than I was expecting. The colors aren't as vibrant here as they were in the beginning. I think it could have a little bit more passion put into the drop part because it feels like the build-up was really what had the most put into it. You know, you had the different flashes, you put the thought into how you're going to move the screen, but then the drop was kind of just like, ah, yeah. Like, it's cool. That was also a medium, so I'm probably going to put a rate only on that because I did think it was pretty nicely set out. I just think the drop could have had way more energy, way more to it. I'm thinking, like, more flashes. I'm thinking a little bit more movement, maybe some foreground in there. Maybe just a faster part in general might have sufficed. But next up, we have... Odyssey by Jazzrail using Soda Pop by Clydex. We have a bit of a contrast here. One person says bad level, next person says cool level. This needs to be rated. It has 10,000 downloads, so for an unrated level, that's pretty high. And, oh, this is pretty. Nice little seagulls there. Okay, you got fakes in there too. Gameplay is nice and neat. Um, I will say, one thing to try and avoid maybe is like the, the flat ground here. Because it's kind of open. Compared to what we had in the very beginning of the level with the structuring, that kind of wrapped around me, I think it just looks better. Yeah, there's like certain segments that just leave it a bit flat there when there's no like real detail above. But that's a nitpick. I'm just saying because your design... Ooh, layering's a bit odd. Um, the design's so packed, you know? If I go back to the... Whoa. Uh, hello? Button wanna work? Thank you. Yeah, like it's so packed in the beginning and the structuring and stuff and then it just slowly eases out and becomes a little bit more open. It shows the background which is cool. I just think it loses a little bit of its detail there, but it's very high quality so far. Every detail that's put down is very effective. Oh wow! Never mind! Dude, this foreground background dynamic is sick. Dude, movement of the blocks, fire, love that. Dude, it's so cool looking. I love the orange and yellow. That's just a perfect color scheme for a little hazy part like this. Everything's floating. I love these subtle movements that these levels are doing today. Cool invisible bridge. And again, it's a drop section with a little bit less energy than I was expecting. Not that every level has to be like super flashy, but like I feel like more work is getting put into pre-drops these days than the actual drops themselves. But again, I do like the variety with the Ys in the background, the foreground that goes across, just a couple of lines just so I can actually see the gameplay and what's going on. That is a neat background too with the layering and the shading on those squares. It just looks really nice. And the designs are spot on. That's all I really gotta say. It just goes hard. This one's probably a feature because it doesn't necessarily drop off or go down any pathways that I disagree with. I think it just it just mostly goes hard. These levels are just missing a little bit of oomph. That's like the only thing I can really comment on. Like this one plays really well. The gameplay was fine. None of the movements really took me out of the level at all. The only thing that took me out of the level was sometimes just like the repetitive ground. You know what I mean? But when there's no ground, look how much harder the level goes. That's like, I think that's the source of my criticism. It's just like, I'm going through the level. This looks beautiful. And it doesn't have any like repetitive ground. Like imagine there was just like a repetitive line all the way across here. I think it just looks better without any of that kind of oomph. Definitely necessary though, because you could like definitely fall onto the ground. But again, I am nitpicking. These two levels have been actually really cool so far. Moving on, we have On and On. Oh, moving on and on, we have On and On by Rice Cake 420 using No Logic On and On by No Logic. Okay, fun level, GG. Very good level. Okay, made in many months. Let's take a look at it. Rice Cake 420. Ooh, nice and blue. Is that blue or purple? Uh, purple. Maybe? I'm colorblind. I apologize. Oh, 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 okay. Invisible portals, kind of a no-no, but this goes hard. I love this line deco. It looks so sick the way that it kind of like, goes like, it's a bit of a wavy line rather than a straight line that just looks weird. Oh, okay. Nice little black section. Oh, the ground cut in first. That's what I noticed. If I just pause real quick. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, you see white flash. 
Colored ground. Very noticeable. I think I'm being very nitpicky today. I'm, I'm truly sorry. But this background with the rotation is sick. I think a lot of these structures are quite squared. Makes some of the gameplay feel a little bit odd, especially with green orbs like that. Because green orbs give you a curved gameplay flow, and then we have like the straight structures here. It doesn't necessarily match, so you could benefit from maybe a few smaller structures in between, because it can look copy-pasted too. Um, I gotta go back a sec. Wait, we're at- oh, we're at 50%. Okay. We just hadn't died in a while. Um, let me go to like a section like this. It's the same structure structure just over and over again and then flipped on the top side and then the 3d fixed because like yeah the perspective oh nice so we'll skip there good Woo! okay yeah but i'm pretty sure you'll see what i mean with like the squared structures looks good though love the colors here it's a it's a nice change to see levels just not using the black outlines or like white outlines just like kind of tinting it and then getting experimental with the shades that are in the blocks and what on earth is that that what is what caused that what caused that I, i'm actually speechless that's lagged me in real life Life. I can't even form a sentence, but the gameplay is working well. Look at that. All of a sudden it shine. Sean. Past tense. Huh. What was that? What lagged me so hard? What are 95 mil IDs already? Jeez. I wonder if we'll hit 100 mil before 2.2. I doubt it. We, we have 52,000 objects. I think it was just the, the way that everything just moved off and then started the new background here. That was good. I'd just say for the sake of both gameplay, I mean, the gameplay was good, but it's often more varied if you can sometimes fall down from a block and then jump off it instead of having to just wait and then jump. Um, I think that's what's making me dislike the structuring slightly. It's because I just played a level with a lot of ups and downs and you can see the difference between a level that just has box structures to a level that maybe has a bit of thought put into like, oh, let's drop the block down a block or something like that. Like it ends up feeling very flat as a result. Like we're just here with the ground over and over again. And while that's not really a problem, like the gameplay works really fine. I think it prevents your level from progressing too much, especially when a lot of the levels based on like a repetitive rotating background design, because I'm not sure if it does too much different all the way through, which may be why I'm going to give this a rating plus the repetitive blocks. Like the gameplay is definitely something that redeems this and also the little tint thing that I was talking about, how the blocks are very saturated rather than relying on being like bright or dark. They just fit in well, right? I do really like the saw blades, by the way, and the ground spikes and in the air. But yeah, actually a really cool level. I'm enjoying this. It's just lagging a little little bit too much. I'm not sure what it is that's causing that. Am I being harsh? I feel like I'm being a grouch. I'm sorry. That's not a seven. I think that's an eight, actually. The level requested six. I was going to put eight. Let me start again. The level requested six. I was going to put seven. Then I changed my mind to eight. So I'll go with eight. Phase Rush by Valkyrie using Robotic Nightmares by DJ Nate. Okay. I love this song, actually. This is a banger. This is an all-time classic. Okay, this is neat. I dig that little colored glow on the side that's synced. The movements there were nice. This gameplay is pretty smooth. I like the glow on the portals. Ooh, this reminds me of like an old style, like mid 2.0 level here with the contrast of black and white and the bright glow here. A little bit of copy paste, but it looks neat. I like how well it's presenting itself so far. It's very shady. It's got a couple of effects here and there. Gameplay is cool. I like that. This feels different. You have a slightly different approach to designing than the typical person, I think. Just the way that you use glow is slightly different. And I like the little colored burst that you put in the blocks. This is cool. I like it. Oh, okay. You don't, you don't, you don't do anything there. Nice. I love the opacity effect in the background with the different blocks overlapping. Ooh, cool duel here. It feels a little bit under detailed at times like this, but again, how are you supposed to make this background work with any like extra detail? But the glow effect is sick. That's nice. Nice flashy ending too. Dude, that just had the right amount of detail at certain times just to make me really convinced with, okay, I'm pretty sure I won attempted it in practice and died there. Apart from the ball part, I died at the ball part, but this level sets itself out really well. And it feels slightly different to what's typically on the featured page. I will say you could probably have put some bright details inside the blocks here instead of just having them as plain black and white. Also, try to avoid sections like those where we're just floating with portals and the screen's open. It's a criticism that I keep throwing out, but it, I just keep seeing it. It's like you do so much to build up the level with different structuring here that works so well. And then the transitions between each part kind of lose steam. Yeah, you see right there, it's just like like a portal and just like a slightly more open section just because the structures are boxed there. There's no like broken up blocks to kind of fill that gap, right? But nice movements here and there. And I just, the flow of the level is super unique. I don't really think I've played much like this recently that's made me kind of nostalgic, but also satisfied with like its visuals as of today, you know? But this duel's really good. I really like how it works there. The movements are nice. And I just love the glow effects in the foreground. I think this level just works really well. I don't know what it is about it. I just really enjoy it. Sometimes 
I'm not saying that this level is under detailed, but less can be more, you know? When you place the right amount of focus on the details that really matter, you can, can make a really cool looking level, I gotta say. Like, it just feels really well made rather than trying to, like, persuade me with cool looking designs and stuff. Or, like, complex designs, because the designs look good, they just don't do too much. And I like that about it. Level has no theme. Okay. By un- uck, uck, no. Using luster by laps. Let's go. Straight off. Love the clouds here. That looks sick. Nice and fancy. And I love how the saw blades are faded white underneath the clouds. That just looks so cool. Oh, and it moves? Interesting. I did not practice mode. Let's go. Wow. This is sick, actually. What? Yo. What the heck? This is a fusion of styles, and I'm here for it. This level has no oh, the level has no theme. Yeah, I literally didn't read the title properly. I didn't process the title. Okay. This is cool. Dude, I love the detail there. The outlines looked so neat. Wow. Okay. We really don't have a style. We're just going all in. So we're with the stars. Then we have like a more colorful, blocky style. Okay. I would maybe give just a little bit more warning before gameplay comes in because there was certain blocks there that I couldn't fall down down on and I had to be prepared to kind of sight read that and I wasn't. But dude, the details look fire here. I would love to see some of these a little bit more fleshed out, but I also appreciate the miscellaneous vibe of the level, right? But amazing pulses, sick ideas overall with how you've um, used blending blocks to your advantage and also opacity effects. You have to double click that orb, which is really cool. I like, wait, do you? Oh, you just jump late on that block. Okay, weird, but good. I like it. Nothing about this level is formulaic, but I can't see that coming. I can't see the, 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 the oh, whoa, whoa, where am I? What is happening? This is hard to read. Uh, okay, we're- No, we're not good. We fall. Those spikes? Okay, I paused on the one frame where they're actually visible. I swear. Like, they're not very visible, considering there's arrows there too. Maybe, just maybe, they could have a little bit more to them, just to show them a little bit more. Eight hours, worst GDPS. Okay, so that was cool. I just think the gameplay could have been indicated a little bit more clearly. We have arrows here and there, but it switches like so quickly. I can't 100% see some of the obstacles, like the saw blade there that I was jumping at. And there's a lot of black screen transitions that don't show you the blocks before you actually get there. Like right here, I just gotta know that you can't really fall on many of these blocks. And then we're moving, we have to jump immediately. But dude, the details are actually phenomenal. Like the whole level just feels like miscellaneous. I guess that's the intent, but like I actually am convinced with the direction this level takes. So, I- wait, it says it's tiny. I guess that's because you copied it and then uploaded it. Gift from- okay, so this is not the creator? GMD Jackson is the creator. Uh, that's cool. I'm just gonna assume that this is actually, like, this is- this is- like proper. It says gift from GMD Jackson. There's no comment from GMD Jackson. Uh, what happened to GMD Jackson? Is this like an actual thing? Okay, they have creator points. Uh, cool. They didn't get hacked or anything. Neat. So let's just do it. Let's just give this the seven. You can do that? Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Better Info mod. Uh, cool. Uh, what was I doing? Seven. Featured. Boom. Have I sent every level today. Interesting. Stars by Frost2GD using Crystallized by Camellia. I did not know that this song was on Newgrounds. Oh my goodness. Ooh, okay. Nice movements again. Cool glow usage. Very nice and shaded at the bottom. The designs have a lot of thought put into them. That's cool. I like this. I think it could be a little bit more punchy and a bit more bright using a little bit of blending coloring there, but I appreciate the style. Ooh, I love this disco kind of background where the blocks light up. Oh, come on. Was there an actual way to know where to go there? No. I don't think there was, but you know, you got me. Dude, it kind of looks like what Destacy was doing in early 2.0 with the designs here. It's neat. I like the glowy sparkles too. Gameplay actually pretty good there, yo. Ooh, very flashy. Okay, nice. Gameplay is taking a step up here, I think. Feels very unique to play, I'll say that. Um, There are some splices in the design. I'm not sure how the glow has been made, but there's like big lines there. It's kind of obvious. I don't normally comment on that, but it feels like a little bit too cracked for me to pass off as being like smooth. I'd say also try to to put designs inside the blocks. I know that they look cool being hollow, but you can do some cool stuff, maybe mixing it up, making some of them hollow, some of them not, just to get a bit of variety in the design. But I like the concept of turning off the colored spike with the colored toggle orb that matches. Okay, stars, neat, let's do that, nice. I love the speed of this. Some of the layering is weird, like the way that the glow objects overlap, it's kind of odd, like the beam doesn't share its color with anything else. That's because there's no blending here, which is making the glow look very puffy, I'll say. It doesn't have the bright effect that I think the creator is going for, but I love that blending um, beam that comes up from the bottom. That's fire. Nice. And it builds up the energy super duper well. I actually... Whoa. Okay. This is doing a lot right now. I'd say maybe... If you're gonna use so many of the glow objects, maybe make them twinkle a little bit. I know you got them pulsing one by one, but 
if you actually reduce their opacity all the way, maybe try not to like cut them in half because it looks a little bit clustered here. I think it would look a lot cleaner if you had all of the edges on. Come on. Thank you very much. If you actually like turned the lights out every now and then and uh, got rid of the pulsing stars from time to time, it would look better just to give them a bit more exclusivity. But love the bright blocks here and the animated blocks behind. I just think it's a little bit messily put together, like too much for my taste. Like sometimes messy can be good, but I don't think this level is intending to do what it's doing, you know? I kind of get the vibe that it's an uncoordinated mess rather than a, okay, yeah, this is cool. I actually kind of like this miscellaneousness. You know what I mean? Please don't copyright me, by the way. I'm pretty sure that song is copyrighted up the wazoo. Wazoo, wazoo. I don't know what's British, what's American. Vibe of Slow by Zoo Zelic 4 using Creo Flow. Vibe of Slow, let's go. Woo! That is a giant soul blade, actually. Holy jeez. Nice movements. Okay, I really like that design with the lines on it. These these effects are sick. What? Yo, this layering is done just right to really impress me with the blocks there. I think I like over dash orb. I'm sorry. Um, maybe make a little bit of a bridge there so you can get away with that. Because when the black screen's over, it seems like you could just let go just in case you accidentally do something else. That's normally what I do when I play a level. It's like, okay, black screen. I'm about to go into a part, but I'm not hold in case I'm supposed to wait. You know, that's what I mean. But this is neat. I think this part is a little bit basic just because of the block color there. Yeah, you... You acknowledged it yourself, but love parts like this. I think it goes so hard with like the slight coloring and then you've got like the rainbow strips on the blocks that match with the background. Just trying to avoid the little slightly duller sections like this, but the transitions are sick, to be honest. I try and not rely on scale hack stuff so much, but love these lines and stuff. Love the transitions between each part. The sink is neat. Just gonna pull it all together with just a little bit more flow between each part, I think, because we just have like random floating sections like that. But the love heart design was sick. Whoa, whoa. Okay, with a line. That's sick! Yo! That was a really nice wave part at the end, and... <sighs> I thought I was gonna die. That's cool. That's actually a really cool level. I think just piecing it together. Yeah, the comment there actually has potential. I agree. I just think it needs to have a little bit more of like a swoosh between parts because it feels like it kind of jumps around sometimes. And also you're relying on like big objects, big structuring when sometimes it's nice to just have like a nice balance between big structures, small structures. And it really helps like break the parts down when you get to the edges. As I was saying with like the small blocks can really help. Like they can go a long way just like one by one blocks. My chill place by Rookie Teat 74 using question mark earth by music foot by music by flips. Sorry, my chill place. That is a cool font to start the level. I am excited. Okay, this is extremely chill, actually. Absolutely chill. Love the minimalism. It's dope. Oh, big color change. This level's neat. It's a good start, I'll say. It's like a little bit too minimal because when you put the background on the right hand side of the screen, you have all of this space to work with and it ends up just being like completely blank, which maybe was your intention, but it does get a little bit stale. But I love this like two-tone aesthetic that you got going on. Again, when you fade out objects that overlap, make sure you use the cool and epic trick. You, you have the background on plane. So instead of fading that out, because you can see there's like overlaps in it, put a block over the top and I'll put it on black and just put the opacity down just so you can see the difference. Like right here, you just drag the slider down it all goes off in one go, and it doesn't have that weird, uh, like, overlap thing that you uh, kind of struggled with at the end. What group is this? 10. Like, what's the difference right here when you fade off? Right there, the A has overlaps because of the objects, the Y does, the H does. Just a little trick to fade things out more neatly. Okay, final level, blue and yellow by Nobo GD using Space Pirates by Waterframe. Ooh, wait, this is... What are the odds of that? It's a level using the same color scheme as the previous one. This one's neat. Okay. See, this one has like a bit of a pattern in the background. It's got like pillars. I love stuff like this. It just really helps bridge the structures to the ceiling and the floor without being too like in your face. But this is neat. I actually really like the designs on the saw blades and the blocks. I think they match super well. I try to avoid overlapping arrows with the player. Just watch the layering there. And maybe just have the background have a bit of a moving component to it rather than just staying still. Also, I will say some of the objects like the saws and overlap lap with it sometimes in a way that makes them hard to see, especially because yellow is such a bright color and doesn't have too many other shades that look good. But the color scheme is actually sick, and I love how you piece that part by part together. Like, that was a really thoughtful transition, I think. This is so neat. I think it just could have slightly smaller shapes just to break up the big ones, like in the background. This is cool. I like the layering. I just think when the background has a lot of objects of the same size and movement, that it gets a little bit repetitive. Like, the best way to break it up there, probably, nice uh, inverting effect right there, is to just 
have something small or have something that isn't as opaque, you know? Just as an extra layer, but I'm gonna give that a four. No send, unfortunately, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow that because uh, the design was sick. <laughs> follow that as if the creator is an object. I mean, them. Jeez. Thank you so much for watching this Geometry Dash level request episode. <sighs> Working on the Extreme Demon Man. That's pretty much all that's going on in, in Friday 2.2. Check the links in the description, leave a like and subscribe, and have a good day.